You all know that we had last month our parliamentary elections and uh, I was impressed how closely they were followed here in Serbia and uh, of course also European-wide and I think uh, this interest in Serbia also reflects the crucial role Germany is playing in EU matters also for Serbia but also um, it reflects the political and economic weight Germany has in Serbia. Germany has last year been Serbia's biggest trading partner, partner as most of you know and also one of its uh, biggest bilateral donors. Now we have uh, in Berlin coalition talks. Just today, uh, Chancellor Merkel is talking to the Social Democrats. And uh, one thing we know for sure, Chancellor Merkel will stay chancellor, but uh, who the coalition partner is, the Greens or the Social Democrats, that is not yet easy to say. And everybody, of course, is wondering if the change of coalition partner will bring a change in foreign policy or in bilateral relations also to Serbia. I think that uh, that will not be the case regardless if we have a green foreign minister, a social democratic foreign minister or a conservative one. Because I think that at the latest since the crisis now in the European Union, many foreign policy uh, matters have been taken over by the chancellery itself because it affects so much also the German citizens that um, the chancellor herself and uh, the chancellery are also mostly now defining uh, the, the foreign policy and because foreign policy usually has a broad consensus about all uh, parties represented in parliament in Germany. But uh, turning to the political relations between Germany and Serbia, I think that uh, we can all agree that uh, Germany is seen as a very strict partner, insisting on reforms before agreeing on uh, next integration step. And uh, we all remember, for example, the seven points of Mr. Schockenhoff from the conservative, conservative CDU in the Bundestag and uh, uh, what kind of uh, say spectacle that was reading about it in, in the media here. But uh, looking at the process so far and also the involvement of the German uh, decision makers, I think that actually without German insistence on reforms, Serbia wouldn't be so far and had such a good track record as it has now. I think it was uh, helpful that uh, Germany insisted on the reforms and uh, not only looking on the normalization process with Kosovo or looking at the, the cooperation in the region, but also in Serbia, Serbia itself, I think that uh, the role Germany has played can be argued has been a positive one, even though it is sometimes seen as the, the one always reminding or remarking that reforms have to be implemented. Uh, interesting, it is interesting to note that the German Bundestag has played such a role that it is not, was only the foreign minister or the chancellor itself who were making the German positions here clear, but also the Bundestag. And uh, looking to the EU integration process of Serbia, maybe you remember or you know that uh, um, Angela Merkel came to the summit in June only after the Bundestag passed a resolution on how to proceed with the um, integration process in Serbia that shows the power of, uh, of the parliament in Germany. And that brings me to my second point of my argument that I think that the role of the parliament is a very crucial one also here in Serbia. And that so far that role has not been adequately fulfilled. The EU integration process, as we all know, and especially also membership or negotiations, are very complex. We have heard of 35 chapters. We know that's over 100,000 pages of EU legislation that uh, it is quite uh, difficult, I think, for a normal Serbian citizen, not only a Serbian citizen, but any kind of citizen, to understand and support the EU integration process and to understand and support the negotiations. Especially because uh, the process will take longer than only the mandate of one government, so uh, I think that is necessary that the, the population is well informed, and Ambassador Davenport has already mentioned that as well. So I think Parliament has to play a bigger role, but also that civil society has to become more involved in the consultation process for passing reforms. At the moment, <clears throat> to be frank, I think that trust in Parliament as an institution in, in Serbia is among citizens not very high. It is seen as uh, passing most laws, even the more complex ones or the more demanding ones, with emergency procedures. Legislators do not have enough time, that is my impression, to look at the quality of the laws and discuss the impact of each law and bylaw on everyday life. But I think also the job of the parliament is to make decision making of the government more transparent and accountable and I think there's also still room for improvement. How can the average citizen otherwise understand what's going on in the EU membership negotiations, let's say in the field of consumer protect, protect, protection which affects everyday life of uh, future EU citizens? or let's say energy reforms. This is something which uh, I think is necessary to understand that bringing more light into how decisions are made is necessary that the voters support the government and that the citizens support the EU process. And Prime Minister Dacic has also briefly mentioned that in his opening address. 
let's turn now to how, uh, how ready Serbia is for the accession process. I think we have heard today that the political will is clearly there across all the parties in the government and also in the parliament. I think that is a very positive thing to note. But uh, how ready Serbia uh, is and how ready it will be to lead the negotiations also depends on the parliament because they will uh, pass all the necessary legislation and reforms uh, for harmonizing with the EU legislation. It depends also on how uh, the, 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 the speed of the negotiations will also depend on how good parliament will work. Again, efficient work of parliament is necessary because otherwise this will be a slow down process. You need consensus across the, across the board. And last not but, le not, but not least, I think that uh, the integration and the negotiation process is affecting and involving all of society in Serbia and previous uh, uh, countries as well, that it's necessary that not only the government is deciding on what is uh, to change, but also the parliament and of course the civil society organizations. That's why I think that experts from academia or non-governmental organizations are needed to advise and consult on different issues. For example, social policies and employment like chapter nine or like chapter 10, information society and media. There are numerous examples where we can think that not only government employees can decide on what is going to happen in Serbia. <clears throat> and finally, what does all this have to do with Serbia's economy, like the title of our conference suggests? Well. The economic minister has already mentioned it and the FIC representative. Transparency and accountability is not only good for society, but it's also good for business, domestic or foreign companies. That doesn't matter. Creating planning security, predictability. I think that is also right why the focus will be in the negotiations on uh, chapter 23 and 24 on the reform of justice and rule of law. Because with this, uh, I think there's a... Uh, a very big potential that this uh, predictability and reliability will be uh, possible and uh, be uh, workable for firms investing here. And last but not least, let me say that if the Serbian economy grows, if the conditions are met for uh, growth again, decision makers here in Serbia, in my opinion, will have a much easier, easier job explaining to the necessity of continued reforms during the negotiation process and also explaining the advantages of joining the European Union to the citizens. So in that uh, respect, I hope that the reforms will continue, will be implemented, and I wish the government and all actors involved good luck and uh, good, uh, lots of strength, and thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Bonitz.